10 Strangest Problems People Had on Dr. Phil This world is full of people of all sorts. Some are short, others tall, some fat, others slim, and some are normal while others are quite strange. In today's video, we discuss the 10 strangest people to ever feature on Dr. Phil's show. You may think you know of weird people, but wait until you watch this video. This list will have you questioning the sanity of people in the world altogether. Before we get started, subscribe to our Viral Now channel and hit the bell icon. We don't want you to miss out on any of our new releases. 10. Seven Women Catfished by the Same Person Seven women just learned that the dream man they had met online was not the person they thought he was. Most of the time, in catfish cases, there are usually one, two, or at most three victims. In this case, there are seven different female victims. The perpetrator had stolen the identity of a handsome young man and had lured the women into romantic relationships. They all fell in love with someone that wasn't real. The most shocking part of this case was that the person behind it all wasn't a man, but a lesbian woman. Finally, ready to meet the woman behind this whole thing. Yeah. When questioned by Dr. Phil, she claimed she didn't know what she was thinking when she started. She continued to explain that her intentions were purely to make friendships and connect with people. But this is not how it all went. Some of the women when questioned were even ready to settle down and start a family with Hunter, the woman behind it all. 9. The woman who is dating her daughter's ex-husband you think you've heard the most bizarre stories? Wait until you watch this one. A woman once featured on Dr. Phil's show to discuss her decision to date her daughter's ex-husband. Yes, you heard it right. Her daughter had been married to the man for years, and they even had a daughter. After they broke up, her mother saw the opportunity and pounced on it. Soon enough, the two became girlfriend and boyfriend. She defended her actions and said her daughter should be happy as she was happy with the man. When questioned on the show, she claimed she didn't feel it was inappropriate to date her daughter's ex-husband. I don't know where she's from or what fantasy world this woman lives in, but this is beyond acceptable. To make it worse, she said that if it came to choosing between two, she would choose the man over her own daughter. This woman is clearly not okay if she thinks dating the father of her grandchild is appropriate. 8. Model who was convicted for hiring a hitman to kill her husband's ex. When they say some people are wolves in sheep's clothing, they were right. This is the case with Tara Lambert, an ex-supermodel who hired a hitman to kill Kelly Cook. You would expect that the two were enemies, but surprisingly they had grown fond of each other. Anyone could tell that they were best friends. This unusual friendship between Tara and her husband's ex soon turned sour after a quarrel over her kids. The two friends fell apart after a dispute over when Kelly should bring her kids over, and just like that, Tara snapped. She went on to hire a hitman not knowing she was digging her own grave. The hitman was a private investigator undercover. He recorded the whole ordeal of how Tara had paid him money and instructed him to kill her and throw her in a lumberjack chopper. She paid $125 down payment to have the lady killed. She was taken into police custody soon after, where she denied everything. However, there was too much evidence to convict her, so she changed her plea to guilty and was sentenced to seven years in prison. Dr. Phil brought her on the show after her sentence was over. It is still hard to believe that such a beautiful woman was capable of such evil deeds. 7. Husband who lies about everything Every once in a while, we all have probably lied about something. Maybe to get yourself out of trouble or prevent someone from getting hurt. Some people take the act to a whole new level. Imagine living with someone who constantly lies about everything. Even the simplest things like brushing teeth. Melissa came onto the show in 2017 to seek help for her estranged husband who she believes is a pathological liar. He once lied about his financial status, saying that he was a wealthy pilot looking for a $500,000 mansion. One time when he lost his job, he would go to the grocery store and spend the whole day there rather than telling his wife what had happened. One of the most psychotic lies was when he pretended to be a licensed counselor and emailed his wife claiming that he was getting better after several sessions. At the beginning of the relationship, Melissa had seen all the red flags, but as they say, love is truly blind. She ignored all the signs and went on to marry the man, only to separate a few years down the line. 6. Surrogate who faked pregnancy to scam couple There are some ruthless scammers in this world. 
Some of them are out to rip you off through whatever means, even if it means being a fake surrogate. Chania and Peter were, unfortunately, victims of a con artist. The couple had struggled with getting a child for years when they finally decided to hire a surrogate. The most suitable candidate was Audrey, who claimed to have been a mother of four and an experienced surrogate. Audrey matched exactly what they had needed, as she was also a nurse. After doing a background check on her, they decided to meet. They handed over Peter's specimen to her and hoped for the best. Three weeks later, she sent Chania pictures of pregnancy kits indicating that she was pregnant. They bought the lie and sent her $10,000. From then on, Audrey never called or reached out. It was always the couple that would try to call an email. After a couple of months, Peter received a phone call from a police officer who said, I hate to tell you this, but there is no baby. When the lady was questioned, she admitted to having conned not one, not two, but many other couples off of thousands of dollars. Five. Grieving woman who resorts to touching people. We all have unique ways of dealing with trauma, especially after the death of a close family member. Everyone has their own way of handling pain. Losing a loved one can be very traumatic and can lead to unbelievable actions. In the case of Alyssa, who recently lost her husband, she has turned to alcoholism, inappropriately touching strangers, and partying. Alyssa, before the death of her husband, was a caring woman who would probably spend all her days at home taking care of her family and kids. She turned from a family person to a party girl with horrible tendencies of over-drinking, taking drugs, and chain-smoking. We don't blame her, grief is painful and unbearable, but she is leading her life in a downward spiral. Her kids would call the neighbors almost every night to tell her their mom hadn't returned home. Her friend had to get a private investigator and police to follow her around just to make sure she didn't drive home drunk. She recently had a concussion after drinking, falling, and hitting her head. The worst part of her grieving process was her habit of touching strangers. She had even tried to wrestle Dr. Phil's staff backstage. She had previously been accused of touching another man below the belt inappropriately. She once made sexual advances to a driver while her son was sitting in the backseat with her. We just hope she gets all the help that she needs and deserves. 4. Woman Who Wanted To Be Blind Amber, also known as Jewel Shooping, hit the headlines when she publicly announced that she wanted to be blind. She, later on, went on to Dr. Phil where she revealed the shocking news to the world. From the age of 12, Jewel was declared legally blind without her glasses. When she turned 13, she convinced herself that she should have been born blind. She started going out without her glasses as she felt comfortable. Her mother had once told her that staring at the sun would turn her blind, so she would sit on the grass and stare right at the rays for hours. When this didn't work, she spent countless hours pretending to be blind. Amber joined an internet group with other people who shared the same feelings. Here, she learned how to blind sim, the act of pretending to be blind. She finally made the decision to go blind by pouring drain cleaner right into her eyes. 3. Woman who claims her husband injects her with poison while she sleeps. Yeah, you heard me right. This woman is convinced that her husband injects her with poison while she sleeps. She even has proof of the syringe marks all over her body. She has pictures of the marks on her forehead, around her eyes, nose, on her back, her chest, literally everywhere. One time the husband giggled, asking his wife what she was eating. She later became really ill after the meal, which led her to the hospital. After doctors ran some tests, they found arsenic, a chemical compound used to make pesticides, in her blood. The levels of the poison were not life-threatening, just enough to get her tired, drowsy, and sick. She believes her husband does this so that he could molest their two teenage daughters. However, after further analysis of the case, it was determined that she has paranoia. There was no evidence to her claims, and the chemical toxin present in her body could have been acquired from eating fish or mushrooms. 2. Dad holds daughter back from a whole year of high school. Dads are naturally protective over their daughters. Some go way out of line just to protect them. Here's the story of Steve, who is obsessed with safeguarding his kids, Alexandra and Victoria, to the point of having one skip a whole year of school. The two girls claimed their father wouldn't let them attend school field trips, social events, or even choose their own friends. The kids were not allowed to watch the news, to go to the movies, walk around the block, and had GPS trackers on their phones. 
The worst of all was when he made Victoria repeat the eighth grade because he wasn't ready to let her go to high school. She had graduated from the class, passed all her courses, so there was no academic reason behind the decision. Now they are adults and he is still trying to be controlling. When Victoria got pregnant, he kicked her out of the house and constantly pushed her to get an abortion. Victoria moved back home, but she is not allowed to leave the house to see the father of her child. 1. Man who has spent thousands of dollars to create a murder wrapping clown image. Nick has spent close to $60,000 to create an image of a murderous clown rapper. His wife claims he stole credit cards from her, but he denied it, saying that he had taken three student loans to finance his fetish. Melissa was attracted to Nick in the beginning. She loved his bad boy attitude and the tattoos he had. He was a hardworking man, and soon they were both financially stable when he had his construction job. Soon after getting married, Nick started being different. He became obsessed with gothic rap music and started skipping work. At first, Melissa thought he was going through a midlife crisis and believed the phase would vanish. However, it didn't. His obsession with becoming King Crimson only grew bigger. At the moment, he's buried in debt and has so many unpaid bills. Stu, your car, repossession notice, 199 bucks. Child support for your prior relationship, $21,292. He currently doesn't have a job and relies on his stepmother to finance all their basic needs, including food. To make it worse, they have a two-year-old. All he cares about is decorating his house with scary things, painting his face, dressing up like a demonic clown, and convincing people he is the devil through his scary music. That's gonna do it for today's video, everyone. Thank you so much for watching, and have an excellent day.